Lego prices are insane. This AT-AT costs more than my first car. The Lego Titanic is more expensive than a ticket on the actual Titanic. At $50 a pop for the average set, can I even afford to be a loving father? All that being said, I'm gonna to try to convince you that Lego sets are not getting more expensive. They're cheaper than ever. I will prove it with science, social science, but still. Let's look at the median set. For non-math people, the median is the middle priced set. This is what it costs over time. Wait a second, this uh, doesn't look to be helping my case at all. But hold on, let me science this up. We have to adjust for inflation. Anytime you compare prices over time, you have to account for inflation. Otherwise, comparisons are meaningless. A Coke was a nickel in 1935 and $2 today, but everything was cheaper back then, including what you were paid. Average hourly wage was 50 cents, today it's $33. So adjusting for inflation is our best attempt to keep the price level constant and make prices between eras comparable. So let's do that with this graph. Okay, uh, still not looking great for me, but I have only begun to science. Let's ask, are we comparing the same thing? Is the median set in 2025 the same as the median set in 2005? Here's a police car set from today, and then this is one from 20 years ago. The one from today has almost double the pieces. Across the board, Lego sets have changed. Building techniques have gotten more complex. Sets have gotten more pieces. Minifigures have gotten more grizzled. The median set is not the same product at all. So of course it's more expensive. What we should do instead is compare like to like. Now, what would that be? Now, the cool thing about Lego is this is a piece from 1980 and it works with a piece from 2020. They're the same. So let's look at price per brick. That looks like this. See, Lego is cheaper but not so fast. Is this actually a good comparison? Yes, this brick is the same as that brick, but this graph is looking at price per piece. And this is a Lego piece, and so is this giant thing. Maybe Lego is charging the same per piece, but giving us smaller and smaller pieces. Those sneaky, sneaky Danes. So maybe we should look at price per weight. How much is a gram of Lego? That looks like this. So how do you want to buy your Lego? You want it by brick or by gram? Either way, the price is going down. Not convinced? Let's look at sets. Here's the famous 1979 Galaxy Explorer. It cost 129 bucks in 2022 dollars. Why 2022 dollars? Well, in 2022, Lego released a new version of the Galaxy Explorer with four times more pieces. And it was only 100 bucks, so I actually picked up two. Another redux was the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. The 2021 version was more versatile, complex, and cheaper than the 1989 classic set. Or we could just look at a Lego Star Wars staple. The original X-Wing was 58 bucks in today's dollars. One with almost double the pieces was $50 in 2024. But why does it matter that Lego got cheaper and no one thinks that it did? Well, this toy example shows our perception of the past doesn't match the reality of the past. Our brains are stuck in nominal mode, not adjusting for inflation. We're anchored to the prices we used to pay. We think Legos should cost $10, movie tickets seven. We think, how am I supposed to deal with these price increases when a six pack of beer cost 20 bucks? It was only five when I was a kid. This bias has a name. It's called the money illusion. But you should always adjust for inflation. Only then can you know if a price has really gone up, as is the case with some goods, or gone down, as is the case with others. The money illusion is most critical when negotiating salary. If inflation's at 4% and you only get a 2% raise, in real terms, you took a pay cut. The second bias Lego shows is a quality illusion. When looking across time, we have to think of the relevant comparison. Has the item gone up or down in quality? Now, most things have improved in quality. Electronics, beer, econ videos. Even something we think of as static, like drywall or concrete, have improved a lot. Of course, not everything has gone up in quality. But most things have improved. But we don't notice it because we get used to the new high level and forget how it used to be. So, to summarize, nominal prices lie and quality hides. Now I get it, Lego, even if it's getting cheaper, is still really expensive for a kid's toy. Which reminds me, I should wrap this up, because even though Lego's important, the stuff that really matters is actually still free, 
and you're in charge of the quality and the quantity. Thanks for watching. Do you have a favorite Lego set from your childhood or adulthood? Let me know in the comments and check out some more econ videos.